Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. How are you guys doing? Looks like there's a little bit of a stoppage here. Gonna try to get through. Welcome guys, welcome. Hope you guys are doing good. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for clicking. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for leaving comments. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for all the good stuff. And thanks just for being you. Thanks for being a great person and showing love and being curious and interested in what's going on here on EUC NYC Guy. Are you looking at potentially buying your own wheel? Well, cruise through some of my videos to have me talk you through some of the important tips, tricks, and so on. And if you're already a fellow rider, ride safe, my, fr my friends. Ride safe and be careful. Be careful for people crossing the street without care or regard. Be careful all around, people. All right, that said, how you doing? Maybe you're just here because you want to get some sunlight and hear the wind in your helmet. Well, you're not going to hear any wind here because I have a microphone cover that prevents and filters the sound of wind coming in through the helmet, coming in through the microphone. I am not fully geared. I usually wear knee pads, gloves, chest protector plates, and anything else? No, and that's it. But today, I was in a bit of a hurry, so I just grabbed my helmet and went for it. Um, although, I would recommend 100% of the time that you always cover up. Gear up, wear your safety gear, protect yourself at all times. Um, being out here is a risk, it's an inherent risk, no matter what you do, no matter how careful you are. So it's pretty important. I always complain about people not respecting their light, but do I complain about me when I go, when I deem it safe? When I consider it to be the coast is clear? I do not. Well, they went when they saw that the coast was clear, so you won't catch me complaining. Uh, just a calm, relaxed, serene check-in. Just a warm hello for you guys. I'm going to go for this one. This guy was lagging and delaying, so that's why I went for it, even though it wasn't my light. This is just a... Uh, an easy-going ride, a rewatchable, if you will. So, if you're here, you're here because you just wanted to tune in to what it's like to have a calm, relaxing ride and chat about nothing in particular, nothing but life. My hands are cold. It's like early to mid-March, 2024. And uh, the weather, the spring hasn't exactly kicked in yet. So it is a nice day, relatively speaking, in comparison with some of the days prior this week. So it's not a terribly cold day per se, but it was not warm enough for me to be out here with no gloves, no jacket. I disagree with that decision that I take that I have taken I think the right thing for me to do would have been to put a coat on put some gloves on and so on if you can see the speed on my screen that means the data went through correctly if you cannot see the speed on my screen something happened to the data it was corrupted and I had to remove it all together because I certainly made the effort to capture the data. This guy's tailgating me on his motorcycle. I'm 
You know, when I want to turn left, I always look over my shoulder just in case. Um, so yeah, that was a short and quick ride from 96th Street in Manhattan on the east side, which is more towards Upper Manhattan, via 3rd Avenue, which is a decent avenue to ride up, as you just saw. There are a lot of deep sewers and potholes, but I've talked about that before. I won't uh, bore you with that again, but it is worth a note of caution to be careful for invisible potholes and lumps in the road and bumps and uh, crevices and whatnot. Um, I usually wear a head cover under my helmet. I'm not wearing that either. It's a baklava, baklava or something like that. It sounds like a baklava, which is the Turkish sweet delight treat that you eat. But I know that there are some distinctions between the two words. It's a baklava, which is like a nylon kind of a swimsuit, headsuit thingy you wear under your helmet. Keeps you warm. I'm not wearing that. I wish I was because my head's a little cold. I can feel the sniffles building up from the cold weather but uh, I do have it on hand I keep a I keep a whole crate full of safety gear and backup gear and sometimes even tech tech equipment for my rides in the trunk of my car so sometimes I opt to put everything on I shouldn't say sometimes I should say almost every time I do opt to gear up and whatnot. And then there are times like today where I choose to forego the gearing up process if I'm short on time. And you know what? In, in retrospect, I really wasn't that sh short on time. I think I could have spared the couple of extra minutes to gear up uh, for safety's sake. So next time, I'll do just that. I don't think I'm going to be go foregoing safety gear again anytime in the near future <sighs> okay um yeah so i my favorite chinese food dish is mm, i want to say i'll just name a few because i don't know which one my absolute favorite is but general house chicken sesame chicken uh shrimp with garlic sauce chicken with broccoli Usually brown rice, that healthy, like, weedy-style rice. Or white rice. Or vegetable fried rice. Um, yeah, I thought I would throw that random tidbit factor in there. What kind of Chinese food do you guys eat when you eat it? And I know you do eat it, so don't sit there and lie to me. Okay? Just don't do it. Folks, have a great day. Thanks for popping in. And tuning in to another one of my videos. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And have a great day. Goodbye.